All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have gotten so many comments about not showing my face when I'm cooking. Hi, Just Cook. That's me. All right, today we're going to do a braised red wine braised pork, celery, carrots, broth, tomato paste. It's like a three hour dish. Uh, this is like a nice comfort dish when it's kind of chilly outside. You want to sit in the house and have a nice comfort meal. So, braised pork belly. All right, stow me. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get me my uh, trusted Dutch oven. You're going to need this guy. Not that big one. That guy with a cover. All right. I have set up here if I can show you for a second. All right, so I got my pork belly, tough cattle meat. Uh, you want to cook it long and slow, low heat. So we're going to braise this guy. Uh, we're going to do a little bechamel of celery, bay leaves, fresh parsley, shallots, garlic, cup of water, beef broth, tablespoon of tomato paste, and do not forget your wine. Now, I'm going to drink that, but we're going to use that to cook too. Yes. All right, stay with me on this one. Braised pork and cast iron. If you don't have a cast iron, any heavy pot would do. All right, folks, here's what we're gonna do with this guy. We're gonna cut it up in chunks, manageable chunks. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, we're gonna brown this guys in the cast iron. Salt and pepper then, good to go. Okay, Dutch oven, some olive oil, about two tablespoons. The, the, the pork is fatty, so this is just for browning. Uh, you just wanna, just a little bit for browning to get it started. Remember the pork is fatty. All right, screaming Dutch oven, screaming hot. We're going to put our pork belly in there. If you notice, I salted and peppered it while we're waiting. But yeah, brown all the sides. Let that go. Uh, we're just going to brown this guy up. At this particular point, I am going to turn on the oven to 350. All right, folks, I think we're browned really good. See that? All right, stay with me while I take this off. Uh, go ahead and grab yourself a little pot. See, nicely browned. Check that off. Let it sit in the pan. Okay, set that aside. We have a lot of fat. If you look at that, that's a lot of fat. What you want to do is drain that fat out, and then we're going to work on getting our braise going. Stay with me. All right, so we've drained our pot with the fat. What we're going to do there, just leave the tidbits in there, just get the fat out. We're going to put the onions, garlic, little bit in there, um, which I prepared. I'm going to bring it over to you and show you. So I got my shallots, which is the onions, Celery, garlic, and carrots. Parsley, I'll show you what we're gonna do with the parsley. So, for right now, onions, celery, garlic, carrots. Those go in to the pot. There we go. So yeah, the, the onion, garlic, celery, you want to cook that down. Oh, high heat, keep it going. I don't need oil in this because the, the pork is going to get fatty and all that stuff. So just spend all the oil. Let this guy cook in a heavy pan.
I'm taking it to Wales Head. I'll come for about two minutes. Uh, come back with me. All right, guys. About a couple of minutes, two minutes. Kind of waited. What we do? Put the carrot in. Nicely chopped carrots. Take them in there. Cook that another two minutes. Let the carrots sweat out. Let them get nice and soft and soggy. I'll show you what we do. All right. The next thing we add in there is tomato paste. We'll do a heaping teaspoon of that. Cook that down. Let it incorporate it with the veggies. Come back. Alright, so another secret ingredient I didn't show you, but I'm going to show you now if you're going to be following me. Get some uh, all-purpose flour. Get some all-purpose flour. But tablespoon sprinkle that this is to just to thicken up the sauce um, yeah sprinkle it in there while the tomato paste is cooking it's gonna look messy it's okay we're about to start putting some liquid guys stay with me on this one all right so it's been about a minute and a half after I put in the flour here comes the magic we're gonna put some wine now, you're going to put a cup of wine in this. Let it sizzle up. Let it boil off. Let all the juices incorporate. I don't know if you can see this. Make sure you see it. Yes. All right. Let that come into a boil. Now, the trick is when the wine goes in there, let it reduce by half. So let it, let it cook down. There we go, making sure you guys see. You're gonna get a thick, very thick, thick sauce. Okay, see that? Incorporate it in. Come back, I'm gonna cook that down for about a minute. So while this is cooking down because we, let me turn that down. While that's cooking down, because you just put some flour in there, you don't want it to like, form little clumps so you want to just kind of massage it cook it down let it get into a paste I want to show you uh, bear with me guys I want to show you how it kind of looks see that it's kind of pasty that's beautiful that's what you're looking for um, after this we're gonna put all other liquids in uh, we've got a red we've got a red wine base in there already uh, Beef star, water. Ah, stay with me. Another 30 seconds, we're good to go. All right, 30 seconds gone. We got a thick paste going. Put the pork pork in there. Mix it in. Get, get the pork all in that paste. Turn this guys in. Come on. Get it all cut it out nicely. You can see what I'm doing. You got a better camera, but hey, I'm still just starting off. So yeah, cut that really nice. See that? It's cut it real good. All right. Next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna put the one cup of water that we had sitting there. And then one cup of broth. I'm using beef broth because for some reason they do not have pork broth. So, just a cup. You don't want the liquid too much, uh, you don't want it to cover the pork, but I think this is good. Put that on the side so you can see what I'm working on with here. Yes. That looks good. So I'm going to bring you over here while I do the parsley. The thing about the parsley is you don't want to chop the parsley. This is something we're going to take out when we're done. Just get your nice string, tie them up in bunches, like that. Just tie it up, toss it in, that's going to flavor it. We're going to toss it in with the bay leaves, I'm good to go. 
All right, so I put my batch of parsley in there, my bay leaves. Uh, bring this up to a boil. We're gonna cover it, and this is your braised pork. All right, I can see it's boiling at the end there. Cover the bad boy. We're gonna put this in the oven. All right, so my guys been boiling for some time. We're gonna put this guy in the oven. So my oven is set at 350. Oven is set at 350. 70. This is gonna be good. All right, folks. Two and a half. Two and a half hours later. I'm gonna take out my uh, braised pork. I will put it right here so you guys can see what I'm working with. Let's see. How will pork? Oh, that looks good. Let me get my. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. So, well, the parsley, I put in a bunch, put that on the side. Oh, there is our th thick sauce. Braised. Ooh, I just fogged it. Wiped off. There we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right, folks, I am just plating my braised beef with polenta. That is a good looking dish.